Hi, my name is Michael Atman with Iconosys. Today, we'll be shooting 360 product photography using the Shutterstream 360 product photography software with a shutter release photography turntable like this one that was sourced from an offshore contact. Now, the unique thing about these shutter release photography turntables is typically in the hardware, you can define the number of frames that you wish to shoot. And the workflow will be as follows. Turntable will turn X number of degrees based on the number of frames you've defined on the hardware itself, stop, and then send a capture command through a shutter release cable. Now, shutter release cables are typically provided with these turntables, like this one that we have here. You simply connect it into your hardware, the actual turntable itself, and then you connect the other end of the shutter release into your actual camera. Now, again, at every single turn, as the turntable stops, it's going to automatically send and trigger the camera to capture. Now, this is a pretty good workflow. However, when working with the Shutterstream 360 product photography software, users are going to be able to speed up this workflow, increase ease of use, and overall efficiencies. We have connected our compatible camera through USB and will launch the program. Our first step in the program will be to enable our live view. Live view will stream a real-time preview of what our camera sees onto our monitor screen as you can see my hand going back and forth in front of the camera. It is in live view mode where we'll position our object in the center of the turntable. After we position our object accordingly, we have full control over our camera settings to optimize our camera for our lighting environment. As we make changes to our camera settings, the exposure is simulated in real time. Now that we've optimized our camera settings for our lighting environment, in our last step what we'll do is adjust our focal point and set a fixed focal point. I can do so by toggling into manual focus and adjusting the near and far arrows to bring the product back into focus. After I've set our focal point, our last step will be to pre-crop. I simply drag my mouse over top of my live view screen to define the shooting area in which I wish to capture. Now, with my shutter release table, I'm going to hit start. That's going to pre-rotate the turntable. What we can do in this step is ensure our object is spinning on axis in the center of the turntable and adjust our crop markers accordingly as it turns. Next, I will go ahead and pre-program my turntable to capture 24 images. Let's take a sample image to make sure it looks good. Alright, now we're ready to get started shooting. What I'll do is first remove this image from the thumbnail gallery, enter into the 360 shooting workflow, and choose the shutter release turntable option. I've set my turntable to take 24 frames so you'll want to match the number of frames with whatever number of frames you decide. I will also choose manual snap and I will disable live view after every snap. My last step is to connect my camera through the shutter release cable to the turntable. When we're ready to get started shooting we simply hit the start button. This will automate image capture. The capture command again is being sent from the turntable through shutter release to the camera. As images are captured, they're being cropped and uploaded into the Shutterstream program. Now that we've captured all our images, we will select all using the Select All button and enter into the Editing area. What we can do in the Editing area is adjust background colors. We can adjust these to pure white using the Levels tool. In addition, we might want to adjust some of our color of our product and we can do so using the saturation tool. After I've optimized my image quality for my requirements, I can simply hit apply to all. In a batch process, it will edit the entire set of images through one click. Now this operation is complete, we are going to output the individual set of images. Simply rename our file, ball cap, 
choose our file output folder. We can also choose to resize. Say for instance we need these for our website in a 360 view at 1000 pixels wide and at 72 dpi resolution we can do so accordingly and through one click we hit OK and the bad set of images is saved. Now that we've output all our images, we'll go and find the folder that includes all our individual frames and simply click and drag these into the included 360 view creator software. This will create for us an interactive 360 product view in HTML5 JavaScript format. These animations are fully customizable. For instance, should I wish to adjust the speed at which it turns, I can do so with a simple mouse click. 